Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, here I am solving a question sent by a student. Here in this case, we have to find out the last two digit of this multiplication. Seems to be tedious because there are six numbers to be multiplied and uh, it will be really a time taking process if we multiply the numbers and get the last two digits. So what um, I would like to share over here, uh, logic. See, if you have to find out the unit digit, what you do is you multiply the unit digits. Right? In the process, you keep on multiplying the unit digit and drop the tens digit. Suppose 5 into 7, 35. You carry on with 5 and drop 3. Now that 5 into this 3, 15, carry on with 5, drop 1. Right? Particularly in this case, if we talk about, see all the numbers are odd numbers. And we have one number where the unit digit is 5. Right? So if we have unit digit as 5 and the remaining numbers are odd number, that means by the multiplication of all these numbers, we will be getting 5 at the units place. That is for sure right so similarly to find out the unit digit we uh, keep on taking the uh, keep on doing the multiplication of unit digit similarly to find out the second last digit or last two digits what we have to uh, do we have to take both the digits into consideration right or uh, what i can say if we have to find out the unit digit what we do is we divide the number by 10 and multiply the remainder here 5 into 7 into 3 into 1 into 7 into 7 right so if you multiply this these numbers uh, by dividing by 10 whatever the number you'll be getting that will be the remainder divided by 10 and that the number will be same that you'll be getting at the units place if you multiply all these numbers right similarly if you have to find out the last two digits you have to divide the numbers by 100 the multiplication by 100 and whatever the last two digits uh, will be they will be the remainder uh, when you divide the expression by 100 getting my point and it is quite obvious that uh, you cannot multiply all the numbers right because if the question uh, are asked this sort of questions are asked in competitive exams you need to do this question in less than a minute right so you obviously you cannot multiply all the numbers so here i would like to share a logic see how to divide this expression by 100 what you can do is you divide individual numbers by 100 and uh, before that you can eliminate or reduce some of the numbers see 97 is what minus 3 from 100 63 is what minus 37 from 100 now after this step you are left with this is 51 this is 51 this is 37 37 and 15 now you have two minus signs so they finally they will be converted to positive so you are left with this 37 square into 51 square right so from this step to this step now uh, uh, the step uh, the multiplication has been reduced still we have a uh, big numbers over here 37 square and 51 square so what we can do is we just have to find out the last two digit of the square number and last two digit of the square number right so last two digits will be 7 square that will end in 9 and 2 into 3 right the two uh, last two digits will be 69 that's second last digit will be obtained by multiplying this to this so it's 69 here it's 1 and 2 into 5 10 right so we got the last two digit of this multiplication now if you multiply 0 1 the last two digits to so any of the numbers the result will remain same so finally what you have to do you have to multiply 69 to 15 to get the last two digits so 5 9 is 45 then 5 into 6 30 plus 9 39 39 plus the carryover that's 4 so it's 43 but we are interested in just last two digits so that that will be three five okay so i hope you are clear